Even when you go away. Go away. Go. Oh, fuck. It's all fucking cold. Mm. Oh, fuck. It's too cold to fuck. Hey, everyone. How is everybody doing? Look at my gray patch. Let me reroute you. Hello, everyone. How's everybody doing? I'm over the fuck out. And I haven't done shit, but slap. A for A. What do y'all want? I can't even see you. I'm not even in the mood to be doing all this. Hi, everyone. What's going on? I am... It's cold as a motherfucker out here in California. Trust me. And I got the heater on. Then I'm taking it off. Then I'm cutting it back on. I'm taking it back off. Because I ain't trying to get sick. And I'm supposed to be out. Shit. I have to throw on more pity parties this Christmas than I have in the past 10 years. But girl, look at that. Let me reroute you. Yep, he fine as fuck. Mm-hmm. Hey, Jim. Hey to some of my new followers out there. Get your Jim. Oh, God. I don't even know why I had this Adam for Adam thing on my phone. Because I don't hook up with nobody. Women. You straight whores. Y'all my girls. But I got to get y'all up on game, boo. I'm going to need, uh, I just made this my little uh, sleeping shirt because I don't, I don't like it no more. I mean, I do, but it ain't my jet. I don't, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to plug. Unplug something. Oh, work. I'm trying to plug in my utensils and my gadgets so I can fucking talk shit and charge. <laughs> Hold on, Jen. That's a situated piece. I'm going to answer questions. Hey, what's going on? All right, all right. That part. Oh, it didn't work. Right. <clears throat> all right, love. Thanks for coming on. Get your gist. All right, from Mexico. I can think of this. People are going off over my damn. Well, I'm gonna post this actually. Then I want to show you guys something, and I think it, yep. Damn. I want to show y'all something that I already, like, flipped over the Oh, fuck it. Just guess what came today? No, ma'am. Wait a minute. Lord, that's, yeah, that is you, Lord. Oh, my God. I'm so happy you got your just shirt. Girl, I'm so happy you got your just shirt. It feel like it's been for years. We've been trying to get you that shirt, sister. I'm so glad you got it. And, girl, you know we got the other colors. We got the gold. We had the royal blue. We had the silver. The gold and the silver is metallic. So, you know, they have a little shine to it. So we're going to get back to it once we get back, well, once I get back home and see what I can pull off and get my gym stuff. Try to get my little business off the ground. You need your gym? I need my gym too. you welcome. You're my girl, girl. You haven't given me gym for a long time. 
have water. Plenty of water. I think I'm going to drink two of these since I've been here. That's why I've been pissing every five minutes like a damn racehorse. Shavana Brooks. Bitch, when I tell you, sister, it is colder than a motherfucker. And I don't give a fuck if it's first, second, third, bitch, it's cold as fuck out in Chicago. Girl, you know there's food right across the street. Bitch, I'm not even putting no clothes to walk outside to get nothing to eat. And my stomach is so hungry and so empty when it growl is growling from the back of my ass. That's how hungry I am. And it's too fucking cold to go out there to get any motherfucking thing to eat. Fuck that. And I don't fuck with Uber or Uber East because they support King Orange up there in the White House. And nobody got time for that. So I'm stuck in here until. The, well, where is there? Girl, I'm on some good. I don't know why I've been hooked on chicken wings since I came back from Ireland. All I want is fucking chicken wings. But um, we're going somewhere to eat today or something. I know I'm going to be smoking me some weed real soon. We're going to be eating though. I don't know what I'm going to eat, but I need a lot of it. So I'm hoping like some type of buffet. I'm going to look up and see one of my judges on here, my homegirl. She'll come pick me up. And we're going to hang out and stuff because the bitch didn't rent a car. I didn't need to rent a car. I ain't never driven in snow before. And the way I'll be putting my foot to the pedal, You know, I'll be slipping and sliding, sliding and slipping, ice skating in cars. I can't, baby, uh-uh. I got to be safe and cautious. And I know me and my foot in a car in snow. Baby, please. <laughs> I'm going to be doing donuts all over this motherfucker. So I won't do it. You know what? Ooh, ooh. Uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, record. I'm going to take a picture of that, Shavonna. Because I want to try it. You said it's on the west side. Yep. I'm at, uh, ooh, let me shut up. I'll let you know where I'm at, sister. I don't need that on there. I need that on regular camera. Not on Instagram. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get my gist, my sister just told me. I'm going to try that. Girl, I want some good-ass food. I want some good-ass, um, barbecue I really want some barbecue. Well, you know, I really don't do shrimp and stuff. Well, I could do fried shrimp, but I want something more than that. I want some sloppy shit. Barbecue. Expensive. Red bottoms. I want all that. Well, I'm here to Saturday. Well, to Sunday, so I can fuck it up today. Two places I can fuck up today for sure. And then I can fuck up about two or three tomorrow. And then, shit, shower, shave, dish, and get ready for the show. Just in case, you always got to do it. Oh, bitch, it's cold. Ooh. Bitch, it's so cold. You don't even want nobody to touch you. They say if you're cold, you're supposed to make love. Fuck that. I can't even take my clothes off to have nobody body heat on me. <clears throat> Some good ass food, but you want barbecue. <laughs> I do. I want some good ass barbecue with a meat that's falling off the rib. But, but no, I can't do all the sides no more because they done fucked me up with potato salad. So I can't do potato salad, macaroni salad, none of that. Get that two liter dip, baby. And put it on that hole and squeeze. You know what? Oh, wait a minute. No, we, we cool. We are talking about stuff like this. Ain't nothing about that. You may be cool. You know where I'm at, girl? I'm at the... In Chicago. That's where I'm at. 
my lips feel like they have been in some clay. Oh, I want some links too, girl. I was thinking about going to that place that when you walk in, they have like three, they have like five or six different little eateries. We went there for the pageant. I can't think of that name. But I had a, a poly sausage over there, and it was cute. And I don't even eat poly sausages in all no more. But it was cute. And they're uh, You know, I want some food. I want to be able to sit my bony black ass down. And I want to be able to chew until the itis kick in. And I can say, fuck all that. I always keep my bag on my bed. I never keep my bag away until somebody try to come in his room. And be, yeah, Portolos. I think I want to do that. But I'm going to do that. I could do that tomorrow. Today, Friday. Yeah, I could do that tomorrow in the morning. Like, first thing when they open. That's where I'm going to go hit it up. Oh, it's so cold outside. Jesus Christ, what's going on with the weather? Today's the last day of snow. So my bald head ass will be home on Sunday the 31st. It won't be no snow in, no trap in, no flight can't fly out. I'm taking dying ass home. It's been three weeks since I've been home. Never been. Well, yes, I have. But I'm ready to see my motherfucking toilet. <laughs> my ass is screaming for my toilet. Shit. Damn. And I think my inside is so damn clean because I done spray Lysol all over everywhere. Well, only place I didn't use Lysol was at my sister's house. And that's your bed. I didn't use Lysol at her house because I know her house already just. But this hotel room, oh, they got a full can. I'm not saying the room is dirty, but I just All through knobs and all, remote control, TV, things I'm not going to even touch. Coffee maker got it too. And I'll never drink out the coffee maker because I know it ain't clean. So, yeah. Oh, I do want some coffee. Oh, I'm bunk baby. Let me tell you. I have sweatsuits. I have leather coats. I have mittens. I have scarves. And I take my chinchilla. And I wrap this bitch around me like I'm a goddamn whoever. Because I can't take it. And I want to cut my hair off so bad. But it's so motherfucking cold until my bald head ass is freezing. Oh, yeah, you know the rooms. That, the rooms be like, I'm saying about 40% clean. Cause they done went to this room, that room, ain't no telling, nah, baby, spray all that shit. Spray it all. And I really thought I was the only one that done that, and I really didn't never tell anybody that I done it, because I didn't want nobody to think I was a little cuckoo. But when I tell you I was watching Joan Rivers one day, oh, I missed that woman so much. She really broke my heart when she died. I was watching her on the Joan Rivers show, Joan and Melissa, and she went in there with that lights on. And <laughs> she started spraying up the hotel room, the knobs and all. That's right, y'all. You spray every mother. Spray the carpet. And don't ever, I don't ever put my feet on the carpet. None of that. I got on socks. And when I go in the shower, I'm always in my flip flops. I don't ever put these beautiful feet. Nobody fucking tore in uh, sinks and shit. I mean, uh, bathtubs. No, ma'am. I don't sit in bathtubs in hotel rooms. No, ma'am. Not on my asshole balls or dickhead. None of that. I need straight Clorox. And I still don't want to get on and sit down there. Because that ain't mine. About the wedding ring. Yeah, that pissed me off. People... Just bringing bitches down, making them feel less than, making the man feel, and it's hard. People don't understand. It's really hard for some men, and not just men, for some people to buy things because their times are so hard. And if they could 
fly it away 25 to say, baby, would you know this is a ring for whatever, whatever, whatever it's for. I mean, let them get their job. But I meant what I said. Some of them hoes got pussies full of nuts and no ring. And if it's, they probably bought it and ain't no damn diamond ring or one of them old ass swap meet rings when the swap meets was popping in the 80s that then I had and they had all rings on every finger because I had the same thing. But, ooh. They don't, honey, they don't know. And it's always some old broke down bitch that want to talk some stuff. Girl, shut up. And text your man to find out what what gay club he in, or what bathhouse he in, getting his asshole busted wide open. Baby, the water out here is too hard for my skin because I took a shower and my feet look like this. And I ain't, they clean, but I ain't saying that's clean. I'm saying they ashy as a motherfucker. I'm like, why is my, why is my damn feet look like I've been in powder donuts? But it's this hard as water out here in Chicago. Took twelve hours to get my hands to look like they was oily. Never fucked the hotel. Oh no, 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 baby, I'm gonna put my ass bare on nothing in the hotel rooms. No, ma'am, I never did this before. Do you like it like that? No, I don't. That's too much on one hand. I don't like that boy. Oh, baby. And I need a pedicure. I mean, a manicure. I'll wait till I go home to let my girl get on these. I don't want everybody fucking with my hands. I'm scared of them utensils. <clears throat> um, thank you. I'm just me. I swear this is just me. I'm sober as fuck. I didn't have no weed yet. I haven't had no coffee yet. I'm just fresh out the goddamn water. Sober than a motherfucker. Hungry as shit. My stomach growled. I swear it felt like my asshole was growling too. I'm thinking, hold up. <laughs> Bitch, the stomach growling, the asshole growling. I don't know why this asshole growling, but ain't no dick coming up in here. So, I need to figure out why, you know, I'm so empty in the stomach area. And I have chips and stuff, you know, to eat. But I don't want to eat no fucking chips. I want some food. I'm so tired of eating Bahama food. And when I say Bahama food, I mean because when I went to the Bahamas, all I ate was chips and donuts for a week. And I was there for nine days because all the food looked real dirty. Like the chicken looked like it was uh, changing carburetors and rotating tires and stuff. So they were like, no, 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 it's something. No, I don't want that, baby. You all can have that. And I'm going to stick to these powdered donuts and these damn chips because that's been setting me real good. Until I found out downstairs that the meat down there was uh, beef. And then we found the Fridays and I asked the girl, I'm like, girl, what kind of meat is this? Because she talked real American. She's like, oh, I'm from somewhere. She's like, yeah, I moved out here because my husband is stuck working. She said, but the food out here is... Uh, it's, it's real. Okay, well, girl, let me eat. You know, I know people eat different things, different places. I, my mama didn't put that on my plate, so I don't know if my body going to handle that. You know, so I just wanted some real food, and I started fucking up them burgers in my hotel because those would be. And that was the last two days. But I'm never going back to the Bahamas. Mm -mm, I have no desire to go back to the Bahamas. And it wasn't that I had a bad time with, I mean, in the Bahamas, it's just the people I went with just was not my mixture of judge. So I never even got the J to the judge. 
I was like, oh, God, I signed up for this trip for nine days with these idiots. And it was like 12 of us. Everybody drank it, don't know how to act. So, whew, no sink cooking, no ma'am. You know that fucked my stomach up. That's why I can't fuck with macaroni and potato salad and uh-uh. Ever since that picture for Thanksgiving, you know that took me out. Hey, and girl, you know that took me out when I seen that potato salad. I mean, that whatever that was, that sink took me out. And I always try, like, all that shit when I go out to eat. Potato salad, macaroni salad, macaroni and cheese, and, and yams. And I try all of that when I go to a restaurant so I can know what I like and what I don't like from them. Then I can know how to order when I go back. I will never try nobody else's potato salad again. I guarantee you that. Ah, 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 ah. Anything that look mixture, ah, ah. Ah, I need to see how you prepare that. Because if that went into the sink, I cannot be bothered. And then, you know, some people do like these big parties and they put their greens. No tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. They put their greens in the bathtub. Let them soak. Rinse them through. I don't want food in the bathtub. Is shit fumes in the bathroom. Is that enough? You have to open your mouth to go in there, but to eat some shit too? No. I don't wanna. But y'all know my mind and stomach and stuff is real crazy, so I'm cute on that. I don't need my toothbrush in the bathroom because as soon as somebody going in shit, you got shit fumes floating around the bathroom. All that right on your toothbrush. That's not like shit. Why? Because your toothbrush is flowing through shit. So no. All that. No, food don't belong in the bathroom. And I do know I have seen, I should say, people post up things in the bath. Like people, somebody posted up, they have put greens in the bathroom in the bathtub one time. It was like I think my space days. I called my mama. Because <laughs> I got to hear what she was going to say. I said, Mama, when you be having those big old parties and stuff, you cook all that food, did y'all ever put greens in the bathtub to clean them? She's like, what kind, what kind of shit is that? Who the fuck did that? Don't you eat that motherfucking food? My mom goes off. And you think of me? Oh, my God. My mom is hilarious. Don't you eat that motherfucking food they can't cook? Get your ass from over there. No, mom, I seen it on the computer. She said, I ain't never put no greens or no food and cook shit in no bathroom. No, ma'am. So, my mama ain't did it or gave it to me. I don't want to do it. Enjoying this? No, I'm not enjoying this snow at all. It's cold as hell, and I can't even go over there to get nothing to eat because it's so cold. And I'm waiting on my gist to come pick me up so uh, we can go throw down for for real. And I don't want to go in and out the cold like that. So we there where you get it from, just my mama. Oh, I'm telling y'all, that woman and her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> she is hilarious. I would never forget one. No, I want to say that. I'll leave that alone. Well, no, because I already told the story before. I remember one time. Now, mind you, my mom, growing up, all her friends was that uh, Spanish, Mexican, Latin, whatever you want to say. Baby, when I tell you, um... So she knew Spanish. But one day I was in school, I was like seventh, eighth grade, and we was up at the little market, like the little store up the street. And you know, they let us go on campus doing lunch and stuff. And I forgot what happened, but my mom and the lady at the counter was arguing. And something dropped 
And I don't know if the lady put it on the thing and my mom said thank you or something. But the word glossiest came out the woman's mouth. Baby, my mama said, bitch, I got your motherfucking glossiest. And I'm like, oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I knew she was on a whole new page because the little Spanish she did know and understand had left her brain. Because that lady said, glasses. She said, I got your motherfucking glasses, bitch. I'm like, Mama, she just said thank you. Calm down. She was like, oh, I'm sorry, it's Maria or something. Mama, her name is not Maria. I was her name Maria. I don't know. My mama lit her ass up. Girl, she said, thank you, honey. Calm down. What's going on? But that's my mommy, and she funny as shit. <laughs> I remember my mom slapped the lady at the, um, who gives a fuck? You know what? I can't, this is the stuff that burns my hole up. Quit comparing people to each other. God damn. Bitch, are you better than the two? That's what you should ask yourself. Stop worrying about who's better. Them hoes ain't really caring. They making their money, bitch. You still living in the apartment. Trying to read? I can't stand when people try to read. And there's nothing living in the apartment. There's nothing, because I live in the apartment. No shade. But, bitch, when you act like you are on cloud 50 and you on cloud negative 12, you need to humble yourself and calm the fuck down. And this person on my, let me tell y'all what to do. When people piss you off on social media, like Facebook, you don't have to unfriend them, just don't follow them. And I do that all the time. They be like, girl, do you see my post? Mm-mm. I didn't see it. Because I don't follow you. You're on my friend list, but I don't follow you. And then they pop up on Facebook and they say birthdays. I go through all them birthdays. I click on the ones I'm not for sure about. Even the ones I do know. I click on there. I see our friendship history. If they say nothing, I unfriend them then. Because you've been on my Facebook page and you ain't said nothing. Oh, I hide post. You know what? You know on Facebook. Let me show y'all because I just learned something new from Chad Michael. When you go to your page, and right here, ooh, see right here, where my finger, right underneath my name, it say pending post. I have 3,480 pending posts that I never accepted, never seen, never knew nothing about. So... This is yeah, so funny. Oh my God. Is a woman? Yeah. I'm glad to meet what you. What is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Gugu. <laughs> Hello, Gugu. I love this woman. I wish I could meet her and just have her talk to me all day. She said, Hello, Gugu. Hey, Venus D. Just. Baby, you coming to Boston? No, I'm not coming to Boston. If Boston said for my black ass, I'll be there. But other than that, I have no desire to go to Boston. I don't even think I know anybody in Boston. But if your club sent for me, I'll fucking be there in a heartbeat. Go on YouTube. I got a video called Book the Jish. And you share that with your clubs and your promoters. I'm telling you, it works. I didn't think it was going to work, but goddamn, when I tell you people have been hitting the dish up, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to help you out one. Because as soon as I get out there to see everybody, we can have our for just. Because y'all know I want to talk some shit, smoke some weed. <laughs> 
get my gist of my gist I am Jasmine <laughs> Masters and I have something to say. I'm tired of playing this bullshit game with folks. So this is what we're gonna do. I want you to share this video to your clubs and the club owners and the club promoters. And it is time to book the gist. That's right. The gist is ready to get booked. God damn it. I'm ready to talk some shit. Smoke some weed. Yes. Eat some food. That part. Make some coins. Yes. And love all my friends. That part. Pass this around. I'm ready to see you. Aren't you ready to shoot the gist for me? Go ahead. Pass it on. Jasmine Masters 76 at gmail.com. I handle my own bookings. I'm very simple and easy to work with. Our conversation will be no longer than five or ten minutes on the phone. And that's if case you need some advice. How? Like, wash your hands. Do shit. Do shit. If you're gonna be sucking dick, make sure your breath smell like shit. <laughs> 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 Woo, you gotta love yourself, I'm baby. Baby, I done seen oh, every meme of me it. possible. The Uber memes, the the eighteen wheelers. The bad food, the bad boyfriend, the bad breath, I don't see no more. Oh. Now, what I did want to try to do, somebody could help me. Please, that's how you still in Chicago, let's look at this. I am in Chicago. And I'm going to go hang out with one of my jushies when she get off work to go smoke. And uh, uh, eat, of course. <clears throat> and, um, yeah. But it's too cold to be hanging out with people today. You know what I mean? It's way too cold to be trying to do all that. So no, that would have to happen when I'm here, when the sun is out, when the snow is up in the sky and ain't coming down on the floor because I can't, you know, it's too much. I'm moving my hand really fast. But, um, I don't make the memes, though, so I don't know, you know, who's making them. But I wish I could find them all. Because there are so many of them. The last somebody told me they counted, it was a hundred and something of them. And I really would love them all. Why are you... Baby... I'm going to leave that alone. But I can't stand when fake people hit me up. You know we don't vibe. So why are you liking something? On, how did you even get on my page? That black finger is, <laughs> is standing up. Baby boss said, oh wait. Well, baby, tell Boston, clubs, all of them, to book my motherfucking ass. Yes, I was on Drag Race. I was in the movie First Sunday with Ice Cube. I was Mordecai. I was on The New Normal with NeNe Leakes. I was an extra in Baby Boy, not Baby Boy. Blue. What was that movie with Tyrese and Megan Good? They had me as an extra, and they used my car. So, bitch, I got two checks. Because you know if they use your vehicle in the movie, they pay you for that as well. I didn't know that until they said, well, we need to check. We you need to fill this out for your car, for my car. Baby. You going to get paid for it. Okay, here you go. There you go. <clears throat> Let me show y'all me in the movie. I say that's all for special occasions, Lee John. Hey, Lee John. Lee John. We need to find Mordecai and get out of here. La 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 la. La 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 la. Do 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 do. 
Hey man, let's go. My name is Lee John Jackson. I'm a Leo. Right. Yeah. Do you wanna know my name? I just don't wanna know your name. I want you to whisper it in my ear. Mordecai. <laughs> <laughs> Run, Jazz! Run, bitch! There I go. I want to tell you know, Jazz, don't bring your ass around here that you ready to borrow some money. Playing with my emotions. Yes, Jazz, get that goddamn check, bitch. They don't know your motherfucking game. These hoes don't know nothing. That was a good movie, Retirees and Making Good. It was, um, damn, I can't think of that name of that movie. And they had kidnapped his son and shit in the car. Yep. I was extra just, and they thought I was her stunt double. I didn't know how to take it afterwards, but I was flattered when they thought I was. I said, no, I'm not the stunt double. What the, <laughs> what the fuck is the stunt double about to do? That ain't me. Cause I had on a bang, long hair, crop top, low rider jeans, you know, abs is kicking, ass is poo-pooing. Very Megan good, cause I think she's one of the most beautiful women in the world. And uh, I went in there and they was like, the stunt double's here and I'm sitting there just waiting. And they're like, come on. I'm like, well, ain't they going with me? They was like, no, aren't you the stunt double? No, ma'am, I'm not, honey. I'm an extra. And what the what do the stunt double have to do? Because if y'all talk about jumping on cars while they moving and our baby that's between her and the stunt double, because I'm really the bitch that's in the back partying or something. I'm the extra hoe. Never noticed that was you. Yep, that was me. That was me, Jeff. I knew I was going to be in a movie, though, because I already seen that when I was a kid. So I knew I was going to be on the big screen, but it was scary. Ooh, waist deep. That's it. Oh, I love you. You my gym. When I tell you the scariest thing, one of the most scariest things to me was to see myself on the big screen. Because I seen it when I was younger. Like, I knew I was going to be in in the movie theater some type of way but to see it come to life and not knowing that the preview was out so i wasn't even aware of it oh baby please i damn it took out that damn Choo! i want to run up out of there so bad i was scared i turned my head it was just like oh my god that was scary to see me up there like that oh oh i hate it my friend jumped that is she over bitch you better shut the fuck up Shit, I'm sitting over here nervous as hell, too. No, ma'am, we're not gonna do that. Hey, love, let me see. I don't have no New Year's resolutions, I'm gonna do all that because that's stupid. Don't come up with shit you're gonna do for the New Year, don't wait till the New Year, do it now. You're gonna lose weight, take your ass to the gym now. What the fuck you gonna wait till New Year's for? You may not make it to New Year's, so I never do that. Oh, but this year I'm gonna do this, and this year I'm gonna do that. No. I cut motherfuckers off on spots. Some people said, oh, you know, this year, I'm not going to deal with fake friends. I'm not going to do this. But bitch, why are you dealing with them now? So you're going to wait three more days to deal with them before the new year comes and cut them off? Cut them bitches off now. Why wait? There's no need to wait. You don't know if you're going to be here to cut them off. So cut them off now. So all that, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I don't do all that. I just do it now because I don't know when the time is up. So I don't play all them. I'm going to hold on and do all that. I don't do all that. They didn't ask me to go on All Stars. That's why I'm not on there. But if they asked, I would go. How do you overcome your anxiety? Difficult lately. You know what? You just, if you got to do it, baby, you got to do it. You can have all the fear you want, but if it's something you got to do, you have to do it. It's part of life. Every time I perform, I am nervous as shit. 
nerves bad. I got to pee. I got shit. I'm very nervous. I'm nervous. But I have to get out there. So there's nothing I can do. And trust and believe me, I've been performing for 23, 24 years. And done stage plays and done talent shows and done all this stuff in my whole life. So you would think some type of fear or relax. Oh, no, 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 no. I'd be nervous. Until the time I get on stage and look out into the crowd, there's I don't, after that, I don't even know. But before I get my black ass up there and it, the host is talking and introducing me or just, and I'm next, ooh, and the person go on before me, oh, baby, please. And there's nothing I, I I don't know how to I don't know how to change it. Like I'm always nervous, so I can never change that. And I be thinking, is it normal to be that nervous? Like nervous? No, ain't nobody pissing on the stage. Ain't nobody got time for that. You piss on the stage, then you be pissing. But I'm not uh, pissing on the stage. No, we don't do that. Just some balls and club thing. Let me tell them. CC and I will be the first in line. Okay, I'll feel. Okay, all right. Well, let me know. You drunk. Baby, why are you drunk? Where are you at to be drunk at this hour somewhere? It has to be late evening if you are drunk. If you are drunk in the daytime, I need you to pray. Put the bottle down and maybe go see some help. Because I don't think you should be drunk. At least in the hours I'm in. Drink before I go. Other thing. You have to have a drink. Girl, could I help your vocals? Ah! You know? So that could help, but. And you know I smoke weed. Girl, that still don't relax my nerves. I'm at. Act like I'm cool, but baby, in the inside, I am trembling, I'm sweating, everything's starting to irritate me at one time, and I just want to get over it. So let me get on this fucking stage and do this so I can get out of there. The second number, I don't be as nervous, but I'm still nervous every time. The goddess in the world doesn't. Oh, yes, yes, the world does deserve me, Jim. Because I'm helping people through a lot of things. And if it wasn't for me, who knows where some people would be. Hell, who knows where I would be. Y'all help me through a lot. I'm from San Diego, California. And I live in Ohio's expensive paying rent Los Angeles. And it's expensive to live in California, especially... In Los Angeles. I don't know why. Because no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. The city looks like shit. But it's expensive, <laughs> it's expensive to live there. It just is. Yeah. Because once I'm on stage, I'm like Tina Turner. I'm fine. But I be nervous as hell. Merry Christmas. Where's uh Mama Ruby at? What y'all do for Christmas? What y'all get Mama Ruby for Christmas? Shit. Did she make some tamales? I hope she I hope y'all mentioned her name Ruby. At least I'm thinking y'all are. I didn't get no tamales or nothing. But I did ask my neighbor across the the next bill, uh, house over, I asked her to save me like four tamales. Because she made a whole lot for Christmas. I said, girl, freeze me about four of them holes. Because she make them real thick and big. Four be good. Shit. If not, give me eight. Or a dozen. But she got that. Let me see. Just let me Okay, I did that one. Professional. Did that. Are you booked in the UK anytime soon? Yes, I'm going to be... 
somewhere, Jim. Australia. I'm coming to Australia. And I think we have a four-day tour. I don't have the, um, she's pretty, I'm going to follow her back. She pretty, I'll 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 follow her back. I have a lot of women, praise the Lord. I would prefer to have women than a lot of men. London. Girl, I don't know where I'm going to do. I don't know about getting my own. Well, I do have my own show on WOW Plus on the same thing, I believe, uh, that's going to be on. It's just me doing what I do now. Ugh. Yep. Baby, I know when it's time for me to go home. Because my feet are telling me, bitch, I need to see some sun. When are you going to be at Lips? I'm going to be at Lips, my sweet love. With the help of the good Lord. Maybe the seventh. For sure. The 14th. And the 21st. And I could not wait to get back to lips. So I could talk some shit. Smoke some weed. Get my dish and just for my dish. <clears throat> Girl, yeah, but if I do come uh, to London, you better bring Scarlet. Or I will meet you at Scarlet somewhere and we will go eat, hang out, and all that. So I'm hoping I make it that way to see you and Scarlet face to face so we can get our dish. I'm going to be at DragCon this year. For sure, I'm going to do L.A. I don't know if they're doing one in New York, and I don't know if I'm going to go there. But I will be at the uh, L.A. one. For sure. Now, that's three days. I'm not saying I'm going to be there at all three days. But I will be there. I believe Saturday and Sunday I may come in a little late because the bitch got brunch. And I'm going to make my money there and make my money at the damn drag con, you know, selling just. But other than that, baby, I'll be there. I went to the first one when they first had it during my season and it was the worst thing ever for me. It took me two hours to go and I was in a tight so I'm trying to smile I'm trying to take pictures come to South, Af South America baby tell them to send for me anywhere you want me to go tell them to send for me don't say hell cause I ain't going there I already know that but anywhere you want me to go uh, tell your club they better get a hold to the jerk baby Honey, but you may be at one of them clubs that I would not work for, and I'm not gonna say no names because I don't want no tea, and I really don't give a fuck. But it's a couple of clubs that I would not work for. Oh no, I'm not going to. Oh no, 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 baby, please, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. I have to let this one guy have it because. I pause for a moment because I was trying to think should I say it or not because I don't want it to get out of whack. My friend don't give a fuck. He had booked me, well, wanted to book me and someone else. 
And I had to make it clear to him, baby, first of all, I have been doing this for a while. And before the show, I asked about getting booked there. During the show, you had never booked me. But now you want to book me with this person. And I don't know how that's going to turn out. Because me, personally, I'm fine with people. I'm cool. If they like me, they like me. If they don't, they don't. But anything smart is going to uh, get the definition of chin check. So I don't know if you want to put us together. Because the slightest, rudest thing come out of somebody's mouth, in my face, in my area, I am going to turn the other cheek and I am going to break some jaws. So, I don't think it's best for you to do that. And furthermore, don't even ask me to come to your club. Because, bitch, you ain't never booked me before. But now you think you're going to do some old grand First time ever event with me? No, baby. How much money you got? Run me my money. Then I'm going to charge that ass. You're going to buy my car. You are definitely going to buy my car. If you want me to do that. So. You know, that's what it is. Oh, my show on WoW is come out next. I don't know when. I'm just doing the same thing I'm doing here. Answering questions, telling people what they should do, probably some advice I should be taking on my own black ass. Same old shit, nothing different. It's just on WoW now. That's it. I don't know when it comes out. I don't have a day. I don't have a month. I don't have a time. I just know I recorded about a good eight of them, so I will have to wait until they show up and pop out like y'all have to wait because I don't know anything. I just know I went over there, and I did what I do, I don't see why. and that was it. I mean, that's all that... Yes, I'm ready to smoke, and I'm waiting on my uh, girl to call me back. I mean, to get off work so we can fucking smoke. Shit. It's been all fucking day. They need to... They need to legalize weed everywhere. This don't make no sense. And I just want to smoke. Oh my God. Oh my God. If you guys see these memes and stuff, please don't tag me in it. If you want to make sure I see it, just send it to me. Don't tag me in it. I can't stand it. I just don't. Because I don't need that all in my timeline, all in my notifications. That's why I can't wait. Ugh. It got to be a way to block this stuff. It really bothers me. Because it goes on all day. So I know this one's going to go around for the next, next two days. And I'm not going to be able to get anything completed. Oh, yeah, they are. Because a lot of places, like California, is getting out of debt. It's not even an issue with marijuana. I don't even know why people trip off that. Be a certain age to smoke, but. Yes, I'm still in Chicago. Uh, freezing my ass off. And in a minute, I'm about to go grab something to eat. Let me reroute you. Oh, this is my girl, right? Hey, she just got out. Getting off at 5. Oh, at 15. So about 45 minutes from you. I call you. All right, you. All right, you. This ass is already clean, you. No, call me about 15 minutes, you.
I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on one moment. I'll give y'all the same time. Uh, let me see. What do you do today? I'm going to go eat and smoke some weed. Uh, how do it feel to be a meme? Amazing. I never thought of. I never thought of that. Like being a meme or somebody making me a meme. I never thought of no shit. Baby, I never thought of this type of shit ever. So it's exciting and it's kind of scary because like I'm really like everywhere. Like family, friends I haven't seen in a while, my family member, co-workers. They were like, oh my God, look, oh my God, look. And my cousin, them, you know, be like, that's my cousin. So they be like, listen, look, listen to this girl talk about you. They would put the phone, and I could just hear somebody, <clears throat> just brrr, nothing bad, just going, oh my God, oh my God, look at this, look at this. It's amazing. I'm thankful for it. I'm very thankful for it because I would have never thought it. And how many girls, I mean, drag queens, could say that they made me a mean, that I'm a mean now. And trust me, believe me, there's a lot of people out there that's making memes of themselves and trying to put them out there. And I'm telling them, baby, I don't do the memes. I don't have time for that. I'm just now learning how to write on pictures and adding pictures to pictures. So all that making memes, baby, I don't do that. And that's why I made it very clear to people. Stop asking me to make these videos and do these shout outs to you because when I do one, you ain't gonna like it. And I ain't gonna take it down. And it's gonna go viral. That's just one way. Make, make, do, uh, do, give me a shout out. Give me a shout out. Okay, you want a shout out? Thank you for shitting all over the bed. <laughs> Thank you for not dishing your ass when you came over here, tooting your ass up and just shitting everywhere, putting doo-doo juice all on the damn hotel floor, curtains, walls, sheets, shower heads, all that. Thank you for shitting, Marco. I just like the ass up. Now you want me to make another one about you? Oh, no, no. Okay, well, stop asking me, baby. Stop asking me, because I don't, I don't know. Club... Oh, girl, you need to make a video. Oh, baby, you got to pay me for that. Because some of my shit go viral. And if I got to do something to go, if I got to promote anything like that, other than me just typing it on my page and sharing it, you have to pay me for that. And if not, it's not going to happen. Shout out, Reeves, under the car. Yeah. Not do the <laughs> 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 juice juice anyway. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, it want me to do a shout out, baby. I don't do that, honey. I can't tell you that it's going to go viral. I can't tell you that it's not. But stop asking me. I know a lot of shit of mine go viral. Shit that happened three, four, five years ago is going viral. I'm thinking, what the fuck? But that's because people are starting to do research and find my shit and they just key keys and they just make little clips and pieces and add me in stuff. You know, it is what it is. Oh. I need to go see Patty LaBelle next year. That's my New Year's resolution. Going to go see Patty LaBelle. That's my New Year's resolution. 
to go through party. That's it. And that's all. Oh, this thing gonna cut off in ten seconds. Be careful what you ask for. Hello. That's what I. You want to go viral? Okay. You said you want to go 